What's up? What's going on, peeps? Great to see you all. So I'm going to be sharing with you tonight how to memorize God's word. So I'm going to, so that's going to be kind of tonight. You guys know I use a 360 degree approach to leadership and growth, growth in every single area because professional success does not equal personal success. Financial success does not equal family success. We want success in every area. Faith is el número uno para nosotros. It's number one for us, for those who don't habla. Okay, of course I'm rocking a taco shirt. You know, that's gotta be the real deal. So, how to memorize God's word. Let me give you a few different reasons of why to memorize God's word, and then I'll jump into the how, the why. So, a couple thoughts. Number one, in terms of why to memorize God's word. Now, of course, my background is I'm a Christian. You know, he's Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And so I feel like it's, it's, it's very important to know what my Heavenly Father, what his thoughts are, how he thinks, why he thinks, the way he thinks, all that kind of stuff. So for me, it's important to memorize God's word. Why? Again, so number one, so that was number one. Number two, Joshua 1, 8, and 9. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. Joshua 1, 8, and 9. Another great one is Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 talks about put on the full armor of God. Verse 17 talks about arm yourself also with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So God's word is part of our spiritual body armor, if you will, ranger body armor, right? The part of our spiritual kit going into battle. That's number two. Number three, or as you see, this it may have been number three. Next one is Matthew chapter four, verses one to 11. And I, I did a whole other video on this one back a few why we get throat punched by the enemy sometimes i think is the title of that that one but matthew 4 1 through 11 talks about when jesus just got done fasting from 40 days of no taco bell or long john silvers what right 40 days of fasting satan comes tempts, tempts him i'm expediting the story here in the niv nobles international version so, so one out of three times, Satan used God's word. One out of the three temptations, Satan used God's word. Three out of three times, God, Jesus used God's word to battle the enemy. So those are a handful of reasons why I feel it's important to memorize God's word. If we try to go into battle with no weapons, we're going to get jacked up. So... So, so I think it's really important to, to hide God's word in our heart. Okay, now here's the how. So that was the why. Here is the how. So one thing that we use in our house is we rock, boom, flashcards. Okay, pow. And we use the sandwich method. I'm going to show you that here in a little more detail. But let me just give you an example. So uh, Romans 8, 28. So let's see if you guys can see that. Boom. The sandwich method is putting the location, the address up front. So that's the piece of bread. And then you got the meat, then you got the piece of bread. So the bread, meat, bread, that's the sandwich method. The reason why I feel like it's super important to memorize the location of where the verse is at is so that for, so that you can go back for future reference and figure out, okay, where, man, where did I read this one verse? Man, I need to encourage a friend. I need to encourage a family member. I need to encourage myself. Well, man, where was that verse? I remember that verse. Okay, obviously you can Google it, but guess what? Maybe you're somewhere with your phone, or you don't have Wi-Fi, you don't have connection. It's great to already have that, that stuff on lockdown so you can go and know exactly where to search that verse out. Also, again, if you need to encourage somebody, you can write it down on a little piece of paper. Hey, man, check out this verse. I think it's going to really encourage you. So because, and here's, here's why, because Hebrews 4.12, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, able to penetrate joint and marrow, soul and spirit. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. So Hebrews 4.12 is a, is a great one to just to, to show and illustrate the power of God's word. All right, now check this out. I'm going to show you another thing that my dad showed me when I was a kid. This is how he literally memorized the entire book of John. And how when I was growing up in junior high, I memorized a, huge, a big chunk of the Bible in the New Testament. I memorized a number of different chapters in the Old Testament and books of the Bible of the New Testament. 
and here's how. Again, my dad taught me this and it's super powerful. I've done it this way ever since. Again, it's called the sandwich method. Now, how do you, when something goes into your long-term, when you write something down, it goes into your long-term memory. So I encourage, write, write it down. But again, write the location of the address here. So this is 2 Corinthians 5.17, which is pat out right there, 2 Corinthians 5.17. And that is an image that helps me remember that verse, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Now check this out. Here's the magic sauce right here. Boom. So when you write things down, it goes into your long-term memory. Well, sometimes if you're memorizing large chunks of scripture or God's word, it can be it can be pretty lengthy and time time you know what a, uh, you know it takes a lot of time to write out the entire verse. So what's the shorthand way of doing that? Write down the first letter of every word. Plus, if I only look at this, now I have to wrestle with what this means. Therefore, man, I a I I see. Okay, therefore, if anyone is in Christ. Oh man, what did the H stand for? Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he, he, okay, he is, right? So it, it forces you, and of course, you know, you you block this, this one, of course, right? So now your brain has to really wrestle with what what that verse is, and, it, and, it, and, it, and by going through that wrestling and writing it down shorthand, so it's like a quicker way to go in your long-term memory. And of course, always include your pieces of bread there. So 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in, is in Christ, he's a new creature or creation. I learned in the cre uh, creation, the old things have passed away or the old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. And again, it depends on what you know version of the Bible you're memorizing in. And then again, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So again, so that way you can always go back to it. So, this, so you wanna write the verse out and, you know, and then and then just do the shorthand. And again, you can memorize chunks of scripture this way. Stick it on a, on a card, right? Stick it on, you know, laminated or or you know, we use this for our family dinner time and stuff. But also put it on a three by five card. Stick it on uh, uh, stick it on a three by five card and stick them in your pocket. Or write down. This is another great idea. Write this verse right here. Write this out on your iPhone and write down those verses on your iPhone, have a whole section or a note on your notes um, so that you can memorize God's word and have all your verses that you're memorizing in a note, you know, in a note or somewhere on your phone so that you can refer to it. So maybe you're, you got some downtime, you got five minutes of downtime, 10 minutes of downtime, you pull up your verses that you're trying to memorize and you start going through with the sandwich method and just writing down the first letter of every word. So anyway, that is some, the why and how of memorizing God's word. If you feel like this encouraged you, please share it uh, uh, with your friends, that kind of thing that wants to memorize more of God's word. I really encourage it. It's so powerful. God's word is so, so powerful. And again, you don't want to cross the LD, the line of departure, without having ammo. You don't, you don't want to cross the line of departure without any spiritual 7.62 millimeter. Boom. God bless you all.